Hello everybody, welcome back to Gracie and Thorn. So today we are going to use all of my blue alcohol markers. I just saw another one. So, okay. Um, so whether we do a character or like a landscape or something, that is going to be my ultimate goal. Is to use every single one of them. So yeah, let's get right into it. Sadly, Thorn won't be making it today. She's painting. Literally, that's what her door says. It says painting, do not disturb. So, let me close the door, and we will be ready for business. Now, due to the sort of things, I need to go grab my sketching pencils real quick. There we go. Okay. So, blue, blue is the color of the day. And before we do this, I do sort of need to point out the fact that this challenge has been made by Drawing with Waffles First. Uh, I watch her videos often. I really like her art style and the way she does, like, these cute little challenges that sort of expand your imagination a little bit. So that's what I'm here today doing. So if we do a character, I'm going to do a quick base sketch. So funny. Yeah. I'm not going much higher than the torso. I'm so what if we sort of twist it around the face, which changes this ankle slightly, and then, okay, so if we do that, get a little bit more of her torso, I'm going to add in an arm. And then the other arm, just for an idea, I'll change the position of them in a second. Um, what if it's sort of like a duel? Like sort of like a wand, holding a wand. I sort of imagine them holding wands like this. So I'll try and duplicate that just a little bit. It feels a little bit too relaxed, so I'm going to sort of set back the body ever so slightly, like... <laughs> okay. Um, what's some other ways to create movement? So, I'll have, like, sort of their hair wishing behind them as if they're casting a huge spell. Maybe their other hand isn't in front, you can sort of see its shoulder, and then it's like, behind. That's sort of a bit, a bit of movement. Other ways, I'll sort of have like a waving shirt. Okay, there's a little basic sketch. So let's get into like the actual piece. You can still see the sketch over here. Um, I'm going to try and draw lighter. I'm gonna make the sleeve come ever so slightly over. And, oh no, but it needs to be blown back. Okay. Then perhaps gloves. It's holding like that. So. Okay. Um. So I sort of knocked it over. Um. I'll draw in some hair real quick just so I can get a break from the hand. So it's shooting. Sort it a bit too close here for you to actually see. So maybe maybe I calm it down. It's not as dramatic. I'm gonna scratch that out and just create the illusion of the sleeve or the other arm back there. Thank you. 
I'm a little bit sick, so for forgive uh, the sniffing. And I kind of want big exaggerated eyes, like that cartoony style. Sort of, sort of like that, yeah. I like that. Um, I want to adjust that slightly. I want to make the nose ever so more to the left. Want that to drift a little bit more down, but a bit thin. Maybe like a strand coming out, yeah. Okay. So other than that, that's what we got. So I kind of want it like the spell's casting a light onto her. So let me just make a mark there. Okay. Eyes casting onto her and for a liner, I'm going to use this gel pen. It's not really sort of in the challenge, but it's blue and I need a liner. So let's get started. So let's start with a really light color. Let's go here, that one. Now that's sort of in the back a tad. I don't actually mind that strand being there still anymore. You're never really going to be able to tell what that hand is. Um, it's blinded by the light of the spell. Yeah. That's what I'm going with. Okay, one color used. I'm putting all the used colors over here onto my non-YouTube. Okay, now I'm going to sort of build that up and creep further into the hair. I'm not going to add any of this color to the face. I am going to add something sort of like the spell bubble. What's going on here? Next color down. So this is sort of a greenish blue, and I want to make that the main color of the eyes. Um, yeah, but I'll also sort of add like little, little wobbly lines on the sleeves with it. There. Perfect. Three colors down. Um, ooh, that's dark. Okay, so I'll add that, like, the darkest places. So, right. You can hear Thorn collecting supplies in the background. That one's not really illuminated at all, so I'll just fill the whole thing in. That color. Now I'm going to try and find another lighter color. That's another color done, by the way. So here's this one. This one I'm sort of going to fill in the rest of the area. I do want to add this color to the face. And a little bit where shadows would be. Instead of just the highlights. Okay, so this is a really dark color, so I kind of want to save that first. Oh wait, let's just put that over there. Okay. So this color. That arm's really in the back, so I do kind of want to just go over it. That color. Actually, I'm going to add some that into the eyes. 
she's not looking the best, but you know, she's not looking bad. And not bad is what we shooting for here. I should have gone for like a mermaid route. That would have made this feel good. It feels a bit too obvious, doesn't it? I'll sort of draw her in normal colors in a second. Maybe I'll post a short in it because I feel like she could be really cool. Not that she isn't going to be, because I would be giving up way too soon for this. Okay, so I'm going to push more attention towards this hair. And I kind of want to make it do a little swirl, just in the end. Just add that in. These two colors, gone. This color's next. So I'm gonna add that all the way over here. So we'll twist that around into the hair. Define that point there a bit. Define the fact that that's really behind. Then add a tad bit to frame the face and fill the nose. And you know, I'll add a tad bit there to frame out where that arm's the arm that also has an undersleeve because I'm terrible at drawing hands and really don't want to deal with it. This color's done. Next, this one's sort of greeny again, but you know, this is where I'm going to sort of cheat just a tad and just like sort of shade there and put a bit of shading in the eyes. gone. Oh, you know where this is gone? In the stripes. In the eyes. And you know what? I'm gonna just a tad bit. I shouldn't have done that. But, you know, I'm committed now, so I'm just gonna whoop, whoop, grab like a strip or two there. Yeah, great. really dark blue. I'm going to add that at the ends of here and the end here. But nowhere else should really be that dark because it's all near the front of the spell. But I will actually add just the tiniest of dots inside the spell. Done! Next! So this color Ooh, that's darker than I thought it was going to be. I really should be swashing these. Yeah, that looks nice. I'm not quite sure I like her very much yet. But typically that changes whenever I add in some like blush and obviously I can't do pink. I could add in like blue blush. It's not great. It's definitely not great. But you know, I kind of like her. She's a little funky, but everything is. So. Okay, so this one, let's go in that hair. Fill in some of the blank spots. And onto that one strand that refuses to look like it's its own strand. Okay, this one's basically black, but it is blue. And I'm just gonna use this like so slightly like that. You know what? I'm gonna make pupils with these. Okay. 
Okay. This color. And after that, we only have two more. So this color. I'm going to sort of fade it in. Sort of create more lines in the eyes. Fade in that. And I don't really want it much else in the face. And the skin. Because I'm trying to do it for a bit. But I do want to add just slightly in the Done. Next. So this color, again, is going to go back to trying to get back to the side to be its own strand of hair instead of mixing with this big one. And at the very end of the big one. And a little bit here. Almost done. This is the last one. And I want to try and... Ooh, that's really dark. Okay, that's fine. Not lovely, but fine. And I guess I have to add that a little bit everywhere now because I did that. This sleeve isn't great. I might go back and fix a little bit of it. Okay, hopefully once I sort of line the face, there will only be a few more things to do. Okay. That's not a great lining color, actually. Maybe this one will do better? Basically the same. Huh. I don't know what I was expecting. It's not black, which is why it's probably throwing me off a tad. I wish it was a tad bit darker. Yeah, I'm gonna look for something darker. Okay, pulling out my dual tip permanent markers. If I pull these out, I will use every single one of the blue colors inside of it, just to sort of, you know, make it fair. Here's all the blue colors that I now have to add to it because I chose to make this hard on myself. Okay. Add to the hair. And swatch. Too light. Not gonna work. Oh, and looky here, adding more to the hair. Let's move it out just a tad bit more than that because that's not great. And wash it. Too light. Okay. You know I have so many art supplies except for the one that I want to do its job. It would just be that perfect shade that only I know where it exists but I need. That might work. Maybe. That's a maybe. And this one is really dark. Really dark, I think. Ooh, I have to find that strand. And swatch. There's my winner. Okay, I'm gonna swap over to the tiny one to line. Mining is a serious, serious affair. Okay. Well, that is the end of today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed doing everything in blue. Um, I like her. She's not my favorite. Like, I've done better. And she does have some spots that are sort of green and not blue. 
But you know, she's good for my first version of this challenge. So yeah. 